your tarot life coach bringing you your tarot scope for september 11th through the 17th big baby what's up earth signs how you doing cappies virgos and taurus big big hugs lots and lots of love high five shoulder rubs pats on the booty and a kiss on the cheek earth signs hope you guys are doing super fantabulous and if you're having a birthday this week virgo happy birthday all right check out the birthday read that i have posted for you and if you're interested in getting a birthday read hit me up they're super super cool you can see an example of one on instagram all righty guys let's talk about what's going on so first of all thank you for joining me thank you for coming back and thank you for subscribing and being a part of the family if you're new welcome 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 thank you for just giving me an opportunity to join with you and um connect so with that being said this week we will be focusing on our root chakra all right with that um if you're wondering where the root chakra is located it's between your perineum and your caucus it's what connects us to mother earth um the reason why i'm doing this read is um i really debated i said this on the air sign video really debated if i should do a read or not with everything that's going on in the world my energy is real fragile. I guess I could say like I'm not feeling very grounded myself. Um, just when you feel like you're safe, like I live in Kingwood and I took a little drive out to take my daughter to the park. We're new to the area looking for a new park and I found devastation the whole way to the park, which was only like two minutes down the street from me. And I guess you know it just really shook me and then i hear about this earthquake and then we have irma and then we have jose and it's just and those are all hurricanes and not my cousins <laughs> anyways um it's it's a lot it's a lot and so i debated and i debated and i've been wanting to do these um chakra reads for a while and it just happened that i got a new deck in you'll see it right in the center they're from the sacred power reading cards by anna stark wonderful amazing cards we'll be using these a lot um i was going to wait to the monthly but i just feel like we need some real guidance right now these reads are going to be highly focused on guidance um not so much predictions this is how to work with the energy that's going on right now so our signs capricorns virgos and taurus sun moon and rising this is going to be your read for this week focusing on your root chakra all right so starting off right here in the center position this is what you would call your precursor this is what's getting it started this is what's illuminating this is what's shining through okay and it's all about self-love now it's the number 29 which is going to come down to what the number 11 which comes down what to the number two so you may be by some chance meeting a very karmically connected person to you a really good friend someone who you feel like is a soulmate okay but first we are going to talk about the card and if you look at it it is self love okay this is your inner child this is being free this is enjoying life well, the way that she explains it in her book is almost like if you if your older self or your present day self was talking to a younger version of you what would you teach it what would you tell it and how would you nurture it because if you look in the card, like it looks like just a circle of lights coming out of her, but it's a little girl. It's a big girl with a little girl inside of her. And that's really what we are. We're big, big bodies with little bitty people inside of us with these hearts that long to be loved, with these hugs that want to be given. And sometimes it gets caught up in what life is known as and it becomes very, very difficult. Okay? So it says take the time to be playful and curious. Be curious. Be courageous and learn the power of no. It will shield you from pushy people seeking to compromise your values and integrity. So my thing is about this week, as you're working with your root chakra, and I'm going to explain a little bit more what the root chakra is. Nurture the child within you, knowing that you are complete, whole, secure, and safe. And that goes right into what the root chakra is, okay? It's about feeling grounded and connected to the earth. 
So this is about survival. This is self-preservation. This is muldahara energy. This is red. Wearing red helps with our root chakra. So when we're deficient in our root chakra, we have a lack of self-esteem. And that's what I'm really feeling. If we're talking about self-love, that's what I'm strongly feeling. Procrastination, low sex drive, feeling insecure. Now, if you're excessive in it, you like greedy, greedy, greedy. You want to control everything. You want to dominate. You want to be in there. So what we're looking for is a grounded thing, one that you're open and flexible, you can manifest because the root chakra governs our abundance. It works with our abundance and how we receive and how we give. Now, eat more vegetables and fruits that are red to stimulate and green to help with the overstimulation. Go garden, get your feet dirty, walk on the earth, meditate. Um, those are ways to connect with Moldahara, okay? Now, this chakra governs like all of our earthly like energy, like our food, our shelter, our family, our abundance. And it also governs our strongest sense of our strongest um, sense. And that is the sense of smell, which is which is how we recognize our mother. So our root chakra is how we are connected and recognize Mother Earth. OK. With that being said, when we're understimulated or deficient, we might have family issues, financial issues, really weak boundaries, and lots of anxiety, okay? And that's usually what happens when we don't feel safe, we don't secure, we don't feel like we belong. Those are those kinds of things that come through. So with that being said, let's jump into the rest of the energy that's coming out for you guys, which we got Ladybug. I love Ladybug. Anyways, Ladybug energy is mentally coming in for you this week and it's talking about good fortune and abundance and being willing to receive all good things in life now the ladybug is a lucky lucky lady all right and it's just a good time for you this is going to be a good week okay and if you're going through a difficult time with the storms and stuff please don't think that I'm trying to be um be rude or inconsiderate about your situation. But um, this is like good things are coming your way, okay? So being thankful for what you have and otherwise getting rid of the blocks, um, the disbelief, that's how you're gonna be thinking. You're gonna, because you've been thinking for so long, it's never gonna happen for me, it's never gonna happen for me. And then here comes a little ladybug and it lands on your shirt and it, or it flies by your car or whatever and it reminds you that good luck is coming. This this um, animal is this animal. This insect is highly or aphid is highly um, connected with Mother Mary because during I think it was um, I forgot which time period it was. Ah, I just went blank. Um, the Middle Ages I think it was. Um, they were there. They had like fields that were being eaten and eaten by other insects, and they prayed to the Mother Mary, to the Virgin Mary, and she sent all these ladybugs, which rescued the land, and then the people were able to eat. So I feel like ladybugs showing up for you. If you felt like you were lacking in money, lacking in love, lacking in truth, lacking in self love, she just showed up and she's knocking on your door, baby. A knock knock, baby. You gonna answer? I hope so, because that's what's coming in for you. This is fearlessness. This is fertility. This is rebirth, faith, and family. I do strongly feel that this is a week that you will become loyal to your ideals of family, of faith, and of progress, okay? Just because of the cards that are showing up. Now, Physically, how you're going to be working with this energy is Grandfather Sky, baby. You about to merge the night and the day, the sun and the moon. You are meeting your better half, numero 11, lucky in love. I mean, this just looks like a beautiful read so far. This is expansive energy. Be prepared. But it also says don't hold back what you feel. Your body and spirit will become drained if you don't honor your own needs first. Put yourself first okay put the oxygen mask on first okay right then you can put the oxygen mask on your neighbor but you come first so how are you going to spiritually work with this energy well cow energy is coming through for you meaning a very sacred energy and you're probably like oh cow that doesn't make sense cow is tied to mother earth mother earth is what ties us to the root chakra it is time for you to get grounded, my friend, especially you, because you are the earth sign. But this is nurture, nourishment, Mother Earth, food, harvest, abundance, fuel, gratitude. Gratitude also comes out in Grandfather Sky. Be thankful for what you do have.
okay? And the rest will start to come. I do like that cow is red because that's tied to the color of the, of the root chakra. Wear more red this week. Um, eat more red food. Enjoy looking at a red candle. The ladybug is red, so this is a wonderful week to get grounded. Now, I always say this card wrong, Hunaman, and this is what's coming through for you spiritually also. And this has a, a quite like different story. He is um, a deity, okay, or, or a god. And um, he's a strong warrior who was devoted to Rama, okay? And he fought and he fought and he fought. He is the true definition of devotion, okay? So the affirmation for this card is my devotion to my heart's truth is unwavering the person you need to be loyal to the thing that you need to put first is going to be you trust your heart celebrate you be committed to your success be committed to your inner child be committed to doing for you and your family and moving yourselves into the direction that you guys want to go especially with self-love because where does it start it starts with you my friend all right, now that is your mind, body, soul with a little bit of a catalytic card up in the front. And we are going to move into your read using the Babylonian Tarot. I have pre-shuffled. However, when I cut the deck, guys, the first time it was a two of wands um, upright or how to remember and the two of um, arrows. So I'm going to tell you, this is definitely a crossroads. You are at a major cataclyptic decision, baby. Let's go ahead and bless this deck. Saints to tell bless these cards. Show us the energy that you have for Cap sorry, that you have for Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus for the week of the 11th through the 17th, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Thank you. As I cut the deck, I have the Queen of Arrows reverse with the Nine of Cups. So you may be dealing with an energy that is unable to make a decision or an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, but you're still hoping for the best. Okay? I do want to tell you that I did roll fours for you a lot, and the number four came up at the beginning. So I do feel like in order to have a strong foundation with your root chakra, it's going to be very important for you to love yourself. You must feel lovable in order to give and receive love, all right? going to go ahead and move these out of the way and our first position is the six of arrows reversed eight of pentacles eight of arrows oh anxiety ace of disc reversed and the six of cups <laughs> overall energy guys is the ten of arrows can I tell you what's behind the oh sorry can I tell you what's behind the ten of arrows it is the king of arrows. Well, y'all just saw my baby's chair, and y'all saw that I needed to do some dishes, huh? Ha <laughs> ha. There we go. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pull these cards to the side because I feel like they have a little bit of a message for you. So the state of your root chakra right now, your root chakra is like, can we get some healing up in here? Some sexual healing. I'm just kidding. Anyways, there does need to be some healing because there's some stagnation. It's almost like we're kind of stuck in a state of looking for relief and like all of the solutions you've been applying, all of the medications, whatever it is, it ain't working. It ain't cutting it up. It ain't doing what needs to be done. All right. Now, the current state of your security is the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you guys are super, super ready to learn new skills to begin the healing. It's almost like you're done being stuck. You're done feeling the anxiety and you're ready to move towards something that's going to work. How to feel more grounded, I'm going to say is drop the rock, okay? Drop it and keep it moving. Get up that hill because there's no going around it. It's not like you don't have to do it, but you don't have to do it the hard way. That means, look at those arrows. That's like all that communication coming in and around you. I feel like we need to communicate more effectively with the universe 
and with the people around you. Remember, the word of the week is no. That is what your catalyst card says, is self-love. Sometimes telling people no is saying yes to yourself, okay? That's what needs to be done sometimes. It's almost like people expect for you to do everything for them. They want you because you're the yes guy or the yes girl. You're the one who always does and does and does, but who does for you? Okay, so don't carry everybody else's shit. Don't carry their stuff around. You got to let that go so you can get where you need to be. Okay, because you don't belong to anybody else. You belong to yourself. Now, the good way to balance, I'm going to tell you, is to plant your seed in fertile ground. It looks like what's going on is although you're willing to do different things, you're willing to learn new skills, the inability to plant in some fertile soil is what the problem is. If you got a good seed and you plant it and you don't water it and you don't take care of it, it's not going to grow. And that's a good way to balance it is to say, okay, so I have this really great idea. So I need to like see how I can harness this energy. How can I manifest this energy? What am I doing to push this forward? Instead of, oh, okay, this is really great and everything, but I, I like that over there. I think I want to do that too. And I want to do this. So you scatter your seeds as opposed to keeping focus on that one thing that you really want going for you. The result, if you learn these new skills, you release the emotional baggage, and you plant your seed in fertile ground is, baby, but oh, I don't need you to look at this. Earth sign. This is the number six. This is attributed to what? Love, children, happiness, the past, the present. It is beautiful. This is the warrior who comes home and sees his snook and pie and gets some good, good nookie and enjoys himself, okay, or herself. The thing is, when you're looking at this read, you see arrows, so that's communicating desires with the disc is going to get you the love of your life, whether it's self-love, whether it's family love, whether it's the, your life partner, because some of y'all are meeting your life partner. I think it's, it's very clear that you are. And they're more than likely um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, because there's a lot of arrows in your mix, okay? Now, your overall energy was the ten of a ten of arrows. Meaning, look, baby, it's the worst it's ever been. Okay, your communication it needs some work. Okay, you need to learn how to communicate what you want, and you need to learn to say what the word of the week. No, put your foot down. Put a little little bit of um. What is it? An energetic ball of light around you. Get the haters away. Get the naysayers away. Get the people that are draining your energy. Little vampires that keep sucking all your good stuff out and tell them people no. It's that simple. No, I practice it quite a bit because I have trouble with no. I, sometimes I don't even have a word for it. I just, and I try to change the subject because I hate saying no. Unless you're my daughter, then I could say no all day long. But I've had to learn to say it, okay? And when you do start putting yourself first and you have to start telling people, oh, that sounds like a really great idea, but I have to go do this, this, and this, and that's top priority for me right now. So I apologize. You know, I'm putting myself first, I'm saying no, and I'm letting you know why. And I ain't even gotta let you know why. I could just say no because it's my energy and it's my life, all right? Now, this king of arrows is coming in and I almost feel like he is just waiting for things to go really, really shitty so he can come in and save the day. And either this is you learning to articulate correctly like a motherfucking king, or this is you meeting someone who's going to push you along to that six of cups. So it really depends on what you want to do with your root chakra. All right, and for me, like getting grounded, like really getting grounded is something that's very hard to explain because people all see it very differently. For me, when I feel the most grounded is when I feel safe financially, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. And that is a very hard thing to obtain at all moments and at all times. So I have to check in with myself, like, how does this make me feel? Do I like this? <laughs> Do I really like this? You know, is this comfortable? So asking yourself these questions sometimes are not the most easiest things to do, but it's a great way to get started in using that grounding energy, okay? Now, your overall um, energy, and I'm not clarifying because I feel like it was very, very clear. Two eights in your read, 
Yes, we need to get grounded because we got a whole lot of anxiety. Two sixes in your read, baby love. Trust your intuition and stop second guessing yourself. Also, this week you need to eat more vegetables, all right? And I say that because of the cow. The cow is about earthly food. Your digestion is going to be a little bit off this week, okay? Maybe it's the nervous energy. Maybe it's all of the stuff that's going on in the universe and you're picking it up, but you have nervous stomach. Some call it irritable bowel. Some call it gas. Some call it bubble guts. It's going to be there, all right? So it's highly important that you eat green, healthy food natural food, stay away from high processed food, and drink lots and lots of water and walk. Walking will be great for the nervous energy that you are harnessing, all right? Remember, and all of that goes right back to self-love. All right, again, the second time you get 11. I'm telling you, this is 11, 11. This is a highly intense spiritual Walking, meeting your divine partner, whatever you want to call it, getting in touch with your divine higher calling. This may be that week and you got going the distance. So when this card came out, y'all know, y'all know me. I love music, right? So immediately when I saw going the distance, I thought about cake, right? Y'all remember that song by cake? He's going the distance. He's going for speed. Yeah. He's all alone, all alone, all alone in a time. Of, I could go on and on. I love the song. Anyways, listen to that song, Cake. Um, well, this, the people will sing it as Cake, but it's called Going the Distance. I feel like that's you, like, revving up your engine. You're getting ready to go. You're in this arena. Someone already took one of your uh, trophies, but damn it to hell, you're going to get that other trophy. You got this. You're revving it up. You're looking fly. You're looking sexy. And you're throwing people the deuces because you know where you're going. And that and that cheetah energy is knowing your goal and not giving up before you reach the finish line. Okay? And that is what's going to help you plant that seed. You see how fast that's going? You see the depth? Desert. The desert means that Sahara that you've been living in over here that makes you feel ungrounded, unworthy of love and unable to get to your goal. But Cheetah's saying, nah, baby, put some gas up in this car and let's go because we got what we need. Go the distance. All right. Also, in relationships, if you met somebody, this is probably a very important person, whether they're your lifelong partner or whatever, but they got something for you, okay? Harmony, endurance, and dedication will be needed now. This is telling you what is yours will never be withheld from you. I don't care what people say. You can't keep what, what, what the good Lord got from me, like I said, my old Southern Baptist. What the good Lord got from me can no one take from me. Nobody can take from you. Okay, that is where your abundance come from. When you realize you are the magic maker, baby, you got the seeds of greatness inside of you. Let the wind blow it free because wherever you land, baby, you're going to grow because you are great and you you, ex you exude greatness. Okay, now that is your overall read. Your rune for this week, I feel like I'm leaving something out came out as algae's reversed, okay? So I'm gonna tell you for whoever of y'all are in a relationship, this is what came to my mind, a partnership or a situation where somebody has made you feel like a less. It's like a three-party situation, a family situation, because remember it's family also really big this week, especially I feel for Capricorns, it's family because of your monthly read. Um, so it's it's very it's very important for you to realize that it's time for you to be vigilant. So the animal for this is the elk, and the elk is about standing tall, standing your ground, and standing up for yourself. However, this is coming reverse. So you might be vulnerable to an attack. So look at look at your relationships very carefully because some of them are going to be called into question because somebody got some ulterior motives up in this bitch, okay? Somebody ain't being totally, completely clear with you and you're going to have to see things for what they are. Yield the protection. So um, the deity for this is Hyde Mall and I'm probably saying it all wrong and if I am, please, please don't beat me up, okay? But he's the ever-vigilant guardian of the gods. He's the stronghold. Now, 
He gets less sleep than the birds, but has the best eyesight and the best hearing. And his symbol is the trumpet. So I'm going to tell you, like, you've heard the call. You've seen the light. Now, you know you got to stand tall and you got to go. But you're almost afraid to leave the situation because you're afraid that it's not going to grow. But if you leave this situation that's going nowhere, where you don't feel grounded, where you don't feel loved, and you go through this process in the end, whether it's self-love, new love, family love, damn it to hell, we're drinking out these cups of love, and we're going to have a damn good week, okay? And that is what your root chakra is telling you. I do strongly feel self-love, but I also feel for some of you guys, y'all met that perfect person in your life. Honor that, okay? Be thankful for that. Be grateful for that. And in that moment, enjoy it. Don't always think about, oh my gosh, what if this happens? And what if that happens? Because that's what throws off our root chakra. We got to get grounded. We got to feel like we're lovable, feel like we belong, feel like that's our abundance, and then speak like we already got it, okay? So that is your read this week, Earth Signs. Hopefully it makes sense. Um, if you're interested in a personal or private read, hit me up at arianaluciano at gmail.com or on the gram at arianaluciano. Also, guys, um, check me out on Instagram on Sundays. I'll be doing a live at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. Yes, I know someone had mentioned that I need to go live on YouTube. Not really ready for that. I do have a... Um, full-time job guys that I like to keep very private because I do work with children and uh, I do work for an organization that uh, might have some different views on things. So that's why I'm very limited on showing my face on YouTube. It's a broader audience. But if you want to join me on Instagram, I'll be right there, big baby. And it's up for at least 24 hours after I uh, shoot it. Just talks about weekly energy and it's just a great way to connect. So hit me up on there. I look forward to connecting with you. Stand tall, be in the light and be blessed family.